What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So here we are again, answering mailbag questions. Uh, now, if you have sent in a mailbag question and I somehow did not get to it, I do apologize in advance. These are the questions that I saw and was able to answer, but I should have gotten everyone's questions. Uh, so I thank you all for those questions and without further ado, let's get straight into it. But we're actually going to start things off with a question that more than one person asked. Uh, Archangel Kale Lud and Low Dogs 154 all asked a very similar question and a great question that I do love. Uh, but they all were kind of the same question, so I kind of just put it together. Uh, but I'll read off what all of them asked. Uh, Archangel asked, would you rather move up for a generational talent, big impact player like a Will Anderson or Jalen Carter, or would you rather move back in the draft for too much uh, for much more players and continue to build the team around Ritter and whoever is maybe our future quarterback. Your thoughts. And then Low Dogs 154 asks, should we trade up for the number one overall pick? Because we could go after an amazing defensive player like Will Anderson or Jalen Carter. And Kalu asks, do you think the Falcons will trade up in the draft? If they do, uh, do you think we will go QB or D line? So basically, all of them are kind of asking, should the Falcons move around in the draft? And, um, I think it really just depends on how our free agency is going to go. Yeah, we have the second most cap space in the league, uh, but we have seen this story so many times. The Falcons, I, I'm, I'm warning you right now, my expectations for the Falcons in free agency this year is as low as they can get. Yeah, it looks promising, but this is the same team that just, they, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. They just, they don't go, they don't get aggressive. And so, uh, if they don't get aggressive, which I'm hoping I'm proven wrong, but if they don't get aggressive, um, I think if you trade up, I don't know if you should get the number one overall pick. Uh, the Panthers at the moment hold that. Um, so I don't know if the Falcons would need to get a first overall pick, but if we had to trade up, I think maybe teams like the Cardinals could be interested. It looks like the Cardinals are kind of, it looks like they're about to have kind of a rebuild, like, almost tank year and so maybe the Cardinals will be kind of interested in getting more picks to build a better team so if we trade up I think the highest you can go is like number three and yeah I think you could you know you could take uh, a Jalen Carter uh if Will Anderson is still there which honestly could be possible Panthers could take CJ Stroud and then Texans could take Bryce Young or other way around you know Falcons actually could go up to number three and get um Will Anderson or possibly Jalen Carter. Uh, now, should they move down a little bit? Eh, I, I would definitely stay put at A. I definitely wouldn't trade down. And yeah, this team does need some needs, but I think, you know, at pick number eight, there's probably a really good impactful player that we could pick up. So, um, and then, you know, uh, should we go QB or D line or, um, looks like that was the only other part I had to get to is, I think the Falcons, no matter what, should go get pass rush. That has been, I've, I've basically written that in stone, like, Falcons need to go pass rush in the first round, no matter what. I would understand a QB and offensive line. I would understand it, but preferably I would go pass rush. Mason Yoder asks, do you think the Falcons will re-sign Caleb McGarry before free agency starts? I think they will. I don't know if it's like a lock that they do, but I think it's very likely um, and honestly, I think they should. <laughs> um, honestly, that last video about the free agents the Falcons should pick up, I should have put Caleb McGarry in there. Because even before the 2022 season, it's not like Caleb McGarry sucked. Like, he was a good, I mean, kind of inconsistent, but mostly good offensive lineman for us. But that 2022, you know, that 2022 season was mostly telling uh, for who Caleb McGarry is. I mean, he was a first overall pick at the end of the day, and... It would be really incredible to see if we could give him like a one or two year. Well, I think a one year deal would kind of make him feel a little disrespected. So maybe like a two year or three year deal with Caleb McGarry. I'm definitely in on bringing him back. Now, the only reason I wouldn't make the 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 signing like too long is because it was only one breakout year. The, the years before that, it's not like they sucked, but they weren't great. And so I kind of just want to see it again from Caleb McGarry, but I fully expect him to be who he was last year, or at least close to it, or maybe even better. 
because, you know, it looks like we got the coach to develop a supposed top five offensive line, according to PFF. Uh, Caleb McGarry is working alongside great players like Chris Lindstrom and Jake Matthews, and he's really grown as a player. And, um, you know, I, I'm really excited to see what he can do. Mark Jones asked, how would you feel if Atlanta traded up for a quarterback? Uh, so I know this is also kind of in the, the you know, trade up thing, and I could have included that one in this too. Uh, but I think this one's a little different only because I think if you talk about the Falcons needing a quarterback, it's kind of a different story compared to like if we should trade up and get an offensive lineman or something. Because a quarterback, I actually said, was like the third sneakiest well, I don't know. I don't know about sneakiest. Yeah, I'll say it. It's it's a sneaky need for the Falcons. It's quarterback. Um, now, I like Desmond Ritter a lot, actually, um, and I think that he's going to do fine. You know, I I am willing to give him a chance. That's that's what I would do if I were the GM. I would definitely build a team around Desmond Ritter and see what he's got for a full year. Um, but with that being said, it's not like he played great, um, and so. You know, uh, Desmond Ritter, he was a third-round pick overall. It's not that third-round quarterbacks can't work, but most of the time they don't work. Um, now, we're hoping that Desmond Ritter does work out for us at the end of the day. We're hoping that it's like a Dak Prescott kind of deal. Um, but I will say this. If the Falcons do trade up and get, uh, well, I, you know, I don't know if there's a way they're going to get C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young, unless the Panthers, there, there's rumors that they're willing to trade the first overall pick, even though they just got it, so that's kind of weird. But I don't think they would be willing to trade with the Falcons. So I don't know if C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young are in the mix for us, but maybe, like, Will Levis or Anthony Richardson. I would understand those, you know. I would, I would be excited as hell. <laughs> Like, if we get any of those. Like, I think if you're talking about a first-round quarterback, let's be honest, most of the time you're excited to see them play. And it's like, you know, their upside obviously is higher than Desmond Ritter's. Let's be honest. So, I think, you know, to answer the question, I understand the move. And I think I would actually kind of justify the move if they did it. Like, I would be like, you know, De Desmond Ritter didn't play great. And we're seeing if the Falcons, like see anything else in these higher upside quarterbacks but um but you know what I would do is I think I would just be willing to give Desmond Ritter just another chance is what I'm saying so let's give Desmond Ritter another chance but if they got a quarterback if they traded up you know I would understand it Archangel asks should we go after Frank Clark from Kansas City Chiefs Draymond Jones from the Denver Broncos or Unique Ngakwe from the Indianapolis Colts your thoughts I like Frank Clark, actually. Um, you know what? I think that would actually be a pretty good player to get for us. Now, this is kind of like, at this point, you guys should just start, like, tallying the amount of times I say this. But uh, I, I know I keep saying it, but it's true. We could use some veteran help to coach up these younger players like Arnold Ebiketti and whatnot. And Grady Jarrett would like to not be basically the only pass rusher on our team. We have a new defensive line specialist in Ryan Nielsen. I think he would like to work with not even just a veteran, but a damn good one, like a really good veteran player in Frank Clark. Uh, now, Draymond Jones and Unique Ngakwe, I'm definitely a little lower on them. I don't know if they're like, so like, I, I think they're a little more for teams that are mostly ready to win a Super Bowl and they could use like a number two pass rusher probably. Falcons need, well, they have a number one pass rusher in Grady Jarrett, but we're not necessarily, let's be honest, like, we're not really a full team right now. We just need, like, superstar impacts right away. And I'm not trying to trash on Draymond Jones and Unique Ngakwe, but I don't know if they're, like, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if they're, I just, I wouldn't really count as on them to be, like, your number one pass rusher is what I'm trying to say. Like, they've definitely seen better days. It's not that they suck, like, you know, like, it's not that they suck. And if we had, like, a better team, I would say pick them up. But I just kind of want to get bigger impacts um, at Pass Rush. Um, now, if we, like, sign one of those two to, like, a one- or two-year deal, like, I guess I wouldn't complain. I just would kind of be like, you know, uh, I guess it's fine. But, you know, uh, I just would kind of think that we could do a little better at a Pass Rusher number one, I guess. I don't, really, I, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but Frank Clark, I would go for. Unique Ngakwe and Draymond Jones, like, not the end of the world, but not my favorite pass rushers. 
RC Plan Builder 2 asks, it has been rumored that the Rams are allowing teams to trade for the former Georgia Bulldog, first overall pick in 2009 draft, Matthew Stafford. Should the Falcons get him? Just think about it. A UGA QB playing for Atlanta. That's crazy. Um, so, I mean, it's not like, I mean, you know, I don't know if he would complain about going to the Falcons. He won a Super Bowl, and while I don't actually know how hungry he is for another Super Bowl ring, uh, I mean, I'm assuming he is because he plays in the NFL, but, like, what I'm basically saying is, like, you know, it's not like he's super desperate for a Super Bowl ring anymore, so... You know, he doesn't have to worry about that. And not trying to shred our team, but this team is not going to get you a ring in 2023. Uh, and so, you know, I don't know if Matt... What I'm basically saying is, like, I don't think Matt Stafford would be, like, close-minded to joining the Falcons. Um, would I like that? I mean, you know, like, I guess that would be kind of a good veteran coach to coach up Desmond Ritter, or if Desmond Ritter sucks, you at least have, like, you know, a, a good option at quarterback to keep your team afloat and then maybe draft a quarterback or so in next year's class. So I'm, I'm like low key buying myself into this. Uh, I mean, I just, you know, if you, if you got Matt Stafford, I wouldn't really sign him to a huge deal or anything, but he probably would demand that. Um, so I guess overall, like, I mean, I guess that would be cool and I can see the pros to that, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. Probably not. I, I think I would just stick with Desmond Ritter. And then the last question is from Dak Degani. Do you think Lucas Van Ness, Tyree Wilson, or Nolan Smith would be the best fit for the Falcons? Assuming we draft an edge rusher, Tyree Wilson for sure would be my option. I love Tyree Wilson. Uh, and I don't think it's that unrealistic for him to land at eight, to be honest with you. Um, it looks like, you know, Will Anderson's probably going to be the first pass rusher debatably the first player overall taken if it's not CJ Stroud or Bryce Young. Uh, so, you know, looks like Will Anderson will be taken very early. And Jalen Carter, yeah, his stock might be going down a little bit, but I assume he'll probably be taken before us. So Tyree Wilson, like, it's not super unrealistic for him to land at eight, uh, I, I, would, I would think. And then, uh, you know, Lucas Van Ness and Nolan Smith, I also like a lot. Um, but which one would I take of those three? Definitely Tyree Wilson. I think he's the most ready to play. Um, but if it wasn't him, Nolan Smith, um, there's no denying how great that combine performance was. And, uh, I, I think it would just be nice to use a little bit of, uh, not to be Dan Quinn, but, uh, both a fast and physical <laughs> player at pass rush. Uh, cause geez, I forgot what he ran, but Nolan Smith was like a defensive lineman running like a 4-3 or, or something. That's insane. So we could use a little bit of speed on the defensive line too. So that would be cool. But yeah, I would I would ultimately go with um, uh, Tyree Wilson. But those are my answers to the mailbag questions. I thank you all for sending me awesome questions. And uh, let's hope that the free agency that's about to come up is an amazing one. Stay safe, all of you. Stay safe, every single one of you. And as always, rise up.